one year as a member of the Louisiana, uh, the L.A. Police Department. That's L.A. as in Los Angeles. That it was yesterday. There's a burning strike over the outside edge with uh, rain and wind. Well, after all, it is still winter. It is. Realized she wanted to get back into the game of softball. That's been so very good to her. Mesmer chases one. That pitch just worked its way outside on the way to the plate. After getting ahead two strikes, Kilponen loses Hamoudi. The 0-2. Swing and a tip back into the mid of Bergeron. And that retires the side. 2-2 pitch. Bounced up the middle on three hops and on into center field. Danica Coffey opens the bottom of the first inning with a base hit. One stolen base this year. That's by the pitcher, gloved by the shortstop. She tries to dive for the bag and does not quite get there in time. Knee. Ground ball right side, scooped up by Clark over to Hamoudi and the Tigers leave a couple of runners in scoring position. Another chance for Pleasance and makes the play behind the circle, a three up, three down inning. We move to the bottom of the second. Rudidi bangs one through on the right side. Got a great swing. She just showed that. A sharp single to left field by Bergeron. And this freshman comes right to the plate and immediately attacks it. Change up, hit right back off the pitcher. There will be no play anywhere. Tigers are doing a good job of recognizing that change up and staying back do a good job of getting the ball out of the infield. Like that, that'll score a run. Goffey lifts it to center field. Howie is there to make the catch. There is no play at the plate, and the Tigers take the lead on a sacrifice fly to center field by Danica Coffey. This is going to be a tough play. Briggs has great speed and is nipped at first base. Well done by Hendigas, who got to it, didn't hesitate. I was just gonna say, we have not seen very many change-ups. We just saw one, but it missed. We will have some cold weather. Yeah. Took Your something opponent, off of that pitch. And it still worked its way off the end of the bat. That you've chosen to spend some time with us. Rudidi will have a routine play in right field, and that ends the inning. Of Oregon's name, not the, not the university, as Pleasance goes down chasing a change-up. One nothing LSU in the third. And Clark draws a five-pitch walk. And then comes back with that inside drop ball. Ooh. Freshman team, she's got some tools. And there's the third out of the inning. The 3-2 pitch. Got a it. burner, and that is a beautiful pitch on a 3-2 delivery. To me. So I feel obligated. Oh. That's off the glove of Coffee. It's a fair ball. And that's the first base hit, if indeed it's ruled a hit. <laughs> a++++ plus 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 researcher and statistician. I don't want to discourage him from more legitimate information in the future. Newland should have a play on this. Takes a couple of steps and grabs it, and that retires the side. Oh, they say Ruderty committed. So she's called out on a check swing. A nice changeup. I tell you, that changeup has been dynamite. This game has settled into a pitcher's duel. A chop to the right side. The play is gobbled up by Clark over to Hamoudi. Movement to work ahead in that beautiful changeup there. The one-two pitch. Lifted very high in the air. Pleasance on the left side. Squeezes it in the base path. And a 1-2-3 inning. Kilponen has retired five in a row since the error. She's one for two. Gets the bunt down and forget about it. Forget about it for sure. High drive, deep right field. Could this be home run number three? Yes, it is. Puck her up and kiss that baby goodbye. How impressive has Taylor Pleasance been so far this year? 
I think you probably fired her up, fired her up when you kept talking about her slow starts from last year and the year before. Wow, she bombed this ball. I think it bounced and hit the indoor facility. And no doubt her off of the bat. That's her ninth and tenth run batted in. And her third home run. First name is T-A-R-N-I. Liner to center field, down for a base hit. Clark with a short, sweet swing, smacked it between the stitches. Oregon State, the challenge at third base. And there's ball four. They're trying to teach the catchers how to call the game. Ground ball right side, gobbled up. That short hopped out in left field and Madison Simon rips a base hit to left. But only four rebounds. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. She induced Higa into chasing it in women's basketball. An 88 to 64 win over LSU. 31 consecutive victories now for South Carolina. And so far, it's been a great opening weekend for the Tigers. Too hot to handle. And people are probably saying across the country, wait, pounds? You can eat pounds of crawfish? That's a really nice pitch by Steptoe and Coffee, or I beg your pardon, Briggs was unable to pull the trigger. Three and one on Taylor Pleasance. This is a hitter's pitch. And she takes it downstairs. Stee, right call. That's a beauty from Steptoe. Clark could not pull the trigger. Athletes in the circle. And of course, that's Beth Tarina. Gottlieb tries to bunt it. And quick reaction by Danica Coffey for the easy play at third base. Lead-off single by Maddie Simon back in the sixth inning. Briggs chases this one down. Swing and a miss, and the game is over. Seven pitches in the seventh inning. Wrap it up for Ali Kilponen. She goes to two wins, no losses on the year. LSU for the second straight game shuts out Oregon State. 12-0 yesterday, 3-0 today. Timely hitting for LSU, only eight hits, but that home run by Pleasance, and the Tigers got it done in the circle, and they got enough done at the plate.